Hello friends, welcome to Powerplan Guruji, myself PC Naik. In this video, we discuss about a very interesting and informative topic which is frequently asked in different BOE as well as different Powerplan related competitive exam. And topic is what is proximate analysis. Before starting, I requested all of you if you like this type of video, you can subscribe my channel. So let's start. Talking about the analysis, uh, solid and liquid fuel, if I say uh, uh, solid fuel, solid fuel will have two analyses. The first one is the proximate analysis. In proximate analysis, what we get, we get the moisture, that is the total moisture in terms of uh, surface and inherent moisture, the volatile matter, the fixed carbon, and the ash. Now, this part is well known by all of you. Uh, I believe you also know the process of this uh, proximate analysis uh, is basically by weighing a known uh, quantity of fuel, right? And then uh, in a muffled furnace, uh, without the uh, presence of air, it has been heated up to a certain temperature. Up to 108 plus minus 2 temperature, when it is heated, the loss of weight contributes to the total moisture. Then it is heated without air, without oxygen, without air, up to a temperature of around 900 degrees centigrade. And the loss of weight contributes to the volatile matter. Then it is heated in presence of air and combustion takes place. Now, the what remains is ash and the loss of weight contributes to the fixed carbon component. Now, these analyses are also done in various bases. You might find certain terminologies like this. So, there can be ARB, that is as received basis, which is the, uh, uh, the, the basically the, uh, uh, the original coal which you get in your system, uh, in your site, in your plant, that analysis. Then there is ADB, that is the air drive basis. Right. So air dry basis is basically without the surface moisture. Uh, a certain amount of coal, a particular known sample of coal, 50 grams, that is uh, crushed to a 200 micron size, spread it over a one meter by one meter area and kept for 24 hours. Whatever the loss of weight due to that, that is con contributed to the surface moisture. Then it is heated in the muffled furnace. The loss of weight goes to the inherent moisture. So this two total is called the TM, total moisture. You have got the dry basis where the total moisture is to be deducted from the whole uh, mass and then on the basis of that the analysis can be given. And then there is dry ash free basis where the moisture as well as the ash is also removed and the analysis is considered on that. Uh, there are certain relationship between this. Uh, suppose I get uh, one particular analysis and they have given on ADB basis, air dry basis, and I want to convert it to, into uh, as received basis. So uh, there are some conversions which is basically as you can uh, algebraically you can find out that this part is the total moisture is missing. But I will give you a list of this. It's not very uh, uh, useful in BOE for that matter. BOE does, you do, do not require this kind of thing. But in your practice, maybe sometimes you might need to, you know, take into consideration. So you can just uh, take a look at this. Uh, I, I'm not asking you to note it down. So if you are interested, you can take a snapshot and keep it with you. So if you are having uh, as, uh, as receipt, receipt basis uh, analysis, if you want to convert to ADB, you can multiply it by 100 minus IM percent by 100 minus CM percent like that, right? So that is basically giving you the relationship between uh, as received air dry basis and uh, uh, dry basis. And if you want to find out the dry ash free uh, basis analysis, then the dry basis analysis has to be multiplied by 100 by 100 <coughs> minus A, basically removing the ash component. The proximate analysis is important in the sense that you are going to get the, the VM percentage, which is very important to know for our fuel. 
The ash percentage, which is also uh, uh, something we need to deal with, what kind of coal, coal is there. Uh, we are going to discuss about the significance of this uh, different uh, analysis uh, component, component, which we get from proximal analysis afterwards. Thank you very much for watching this video.